Well, what do you know? It turns out the bomber was brought right into my backyard. Ah! Hmm, New York City. Very interesting. So where am I today? Where am I today? Today, I am... Oops, dropped my umbrella. <laughs> it's raining, raining in New York. I am outside of the Southern District Courthouse where Caesar Sayoc, Sayoc, is expected to be arraigned, right? The bomber, the alleged bomber, the guy who, who sent 15 bombs out of the back of his van to prominent Democrats like Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. Just turns out it's in Chinatown, the back of the court. It's actually quite historical. This is five, uh, five points. Remember in Gangs of New York, five points? That's where the courthouse is. Am I in the wrong corner? <laughs> I'm on the wrong corner. But anyway, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read off some statistics as I walk up to the courthouse. And uh, that's criminal court over there. There's all the courts down here, right? This is uh, all the legals. The le legal stuff goes on down here, all the courts. You got New York State Supreme and the federal courthouse, which is about half a block away. And um, I don't expect to be inside, but I do want to read off some facts that I have about this case. He is here. He's expected to be, Cesar Sayak is expected to be arraigned by a uh, federal judge between 10 and 12 o'clock. I'm going to try to get in. I don't expect that. I, I mean, I don't. it's not my thing, but I, I'm going to try. But what I do want to do is I want to read some, some facts into the record. Some opinion about what's going on, right? So, it's the uh, Daniel Patrick Moynihan. The fucking drill over there. Breaking up the street in New York. But as you can see, it's the Daniel Patrick Moynihan United States Courthouse. And uh, there's no crowd, maybe one, one camera, one fake news. Sitting there hold, talking to the cops, right? It's no big deal out here, right? No big deal, but this is the scene of the crime right here. Right? Scene of the crime. So if you got, you got, um, just find a dry spot. So, it's going to take a seat. I got to get away from that. <laughs> I can't compete with the, dr I can't compete with the guy breaking up the street. But here is the, uh, you see the side of the building. Ah, so secure, right? Tax dollars at work. Catching a bomber. Pseudo bomber. That's, that's the line to get in over there. You see that line? I don't know if I'm allowed to film inside. I doubt it. But it's not that big of a line. I might go in. Right. Just stand by. This is going to be good. Right. So I got, I have, um, I want to talk about a few things. Right. A few things. Right. This case was moved to New York City. Why? Why'd they move to New York City from, Brooklyn, from, from Florida, where he's, where he's from? He lives in F Florida, but they moved it to New York City. Why? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Okay? So, so the, the crime, what the, what the prosecutors are saying is that the reason he was, the case was moved to New York was because... There was more evidence and more, more happened in New York than his hometown of Florida. Now that's bullshit, right? That's a bullshit story. Why did they bring him to, the, to, to New York? I'll tell you why, right? Because it separates him from the accused, right? All of the, it sepa I'm sorry, it separates the accused from the witness, from the witnesses, from the, the actual situations, 
people that could come forward and give testimony, it separates them between Florida and New York. It's 800 miles, right? So any of his witnesses would have to pay on their own dime to show up. That's one reason, right? So if you're a witness, you come at your own expense, right? And he has, he does, he does have deep pockets. They're trying to separate him from the money, right? They're trying to separate him from the money. So, so he would, any witness would come at their own expense. It's the Southern District of New York, right? This is like the most famous kangaroo court in, in the United States. This is where, you know, you saw James Comey drag, uh, dra drag fucking, uh, what was her name, Martha Stewart up the stairs. You remember that? Uh, shit happened right here. The Wiener, Anthony Wiener got, got wienered here. This is the frying, this is the frying pot right here. Right? Southern state of New York, right? So here's my thought. This will never go to trial. Right? What this is is a, this is a a, 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 a lynching, scared shit out of this guy. He's no he's no agent. Right? He's just a fucking dumbass guy. He might have done something wrong. Someone has speculated. Uh, I, I I may agree at this point. I don't know, but he may have done something, some other crime, and he was unwittingly told, well, just help us out here and, and we'll, we'll, you know, maybe kill somebody by accident. It'll knock your sentence down to, you know, five years. It could be. But no, no way does this go to trial because if it goes to trial, all the evidence then has to go to, to be placed on the table. And that, that, that evidence is, is thin. The, the FBI is changing the, uh, moving the goalpost, right? They're changing the rules. Usually they release the information. They tell us everything, right? We know everything, right? Before, before the, the, the actual uh, arraignment, which is here, he hasn't been arraigned. And uh, it's also expected that prosecutors will seek uh, to hold him without bail. Because he's dangerous. They don't want him talking. They don't want him outside. Move. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. The police kicking me out. Kicking me out of the only dry spot. Get out. <laughs> Thank you. So, so we have... I'm going to go over here. So, so it'll never go to trial because they don't want to see, they don't want to, they don't want that evidence to come to light, right? What else? Okay, so let's talk about the judge that's going to acquit him today, right? The big acquittal. So it's, the, the judge is now, I'm just going to read the stuff into the record. Robert Lear, Learberger. <laughs> Robert, the Honorable Robert Learberger. United States District Court, Southern District of New York, United States Magistrate Judge, Judge Lierber, Learberger, excuse me, <laughs> was appointed to the Southern District Bench in October 30, 2017. So he's a new, he's a newbie, probably appointed by the liberal Cuomo, right? You're in lunatic liberal left here. Most corrupt, believe me, the most corrupt fucking court in the, in the country is where they, they ship them. And here he is, right in my backyard. I get to cover this shit. <laughs> so, so this guy is uh, prior to becoming magistrate, he worked for 27 years at Patterson, Belk, Knapp, Webb, and Taylor. Just the details. If you're interested, look down below in the box. I put all the details. Right. So he. Blah, 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 blah. So he's got a long history of being a judge. So the mail bomber. What else did the post say? Um, Right, I think that's the big, the, the big thing. The, the first, I'm going to keep reporting. I don't want these to go over 10 minutes because then it's too hard to download. So, um, so I'm going to, I'm going to continue. But he is here, right? The, 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 you know. But there's no crowd. There's nobody. It's like he's, he's. It's like they, the, the, there's no mainstream media. There's no CNN. There's no fake news. I walked all the way around the building. There's nobody. There's just a couple of lone wolves over there, right? A couple of lone wolves. Right. That's the entrance to the joint. Right? All the barricades. Look at all the barricades. There's nobody here. Nobody gives a shit. What's going on? It's the biggest story in the, the biggest story in the country right now. A fucking guy sends fake bombs and, and swings an election and there's no there's no no nothing? Nobody cares? Nobody cares. 
Ah, ABC here. I got some news, people. What's up, ABC? Got ABC. ABC on the on the on the scene. So that's really it for now. I'm just gonna. Uh, it's a beautiful building, actually. American flag. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't smell right, man. It's not that this is not right. It doesn't pass the sniff test. It doesn't pass the sniff test, man. I'm on this shit, man. Fuck that. If this guy didn't do it and this guy's set up, man, there's more to come. Right? There's only the beginning. It's like a uh, deplorable. Round him up. Guy's got a sticker on his car. Fuck you. Go to jail. We can set you up. That's what it sounds like. That's what it's looking like. Marcus Conti reporting from the Southern District of New York courthouse. Peace out.